pinball machines have moved over the years away from using incandescent bulbs like these in favor of LEDs like these. LEDs have been favored because they use much less current and therefore the driver boards don't have to work so hard and connectors don't get burnt out because there's less heat. Bulbs generate less heat as well. LEDs last much longer and they give up off more light. Not to mention they come in a myriad of different colors. But with this move to LEDs has come the side effect of ghosting. I recently swapped out all the incandescent bulbs like this in favor of LEDs in this Bram Stoker's Dracula and wanted to cover the concept of LED ghosting. What does ghosting look like? Why does ghosting happen? Where can ghosting be a problem in a machine? We can also look at non-ghosting LEDs as a possible solution. How they differ from regular LEDs. And finally I tested a brand of non-ghosting LEDs from Australian distributor which cost me 40% less than the companies I'd previously been using. Be sure to subscribe, hit the little bell icon and you get the notifications, hit a like, leave a comment, do all those things. So after that shameless plug, let's get into the content about understanding ghosting and LEDs. I'm going to show you what the ghosting looks like with standard LEDs in this Dracula machine that I put in at first. The LEDs are ghosting a little bit. So there's, when they're on, but when they're off, there's just this very faint flicker which occurs. Typically, you don't see ghosting when LEDs are used in general illumination. That's the lights that are on predominantly that are, that, that are not controlled by a chip. Ghosting happens because these controlled lights in pinball machines use a system called the lamp matrix. A lamp matrix is used to save wires within the machine. And it means that with just 16 wires in an 8x8 matrix, the lamp controller chip in the machine can control up to 64 lamps. And ghosting occurs because the old incandescent lamps use much more current to illuminate them and wouldn't illuminate and so flicker with very small, very quick pulses of electricity when the matrix switches very rapidly between that 8x8 matrix. LEDs have come a long way and there are several companies like Comet Pinball, Coin Taker now selling non or anti-ghosting or flickering LEDs. They are generally have a little resistor inside them which prevents a small amount of current from illuminating the LED and so they eliminate the ghosting or flickering. These anti-ghosting or non-ghosting LEDs are generally cost between 70 cents and one US dollar each before shipping which can add up to a small fortune especially if you're paying in Aussie dollars like I am. I found a distributor here in Australia called Elite Pinball, run by Ryan C, who most of you know from Head to Head Pinball podcast, who sells super anti-ghosting LEDs, which I'd never ordered before and saw were 40% cheaper, coming in at 40 Australian dollars a bag of 50. At a current exchange rate is $26 US dollars for 50, which is just over 50 cents each. You should know I paid full price for these LEDs. I ordered them from Elite Pinball and they were unaware of this in review. It's important also to note that ordering from Elite Pinball is more like a wholesale retail than a retailer. So it's not like ordering from a retail distributor. So although there are loads of choices and types of and colors of LEDs available, most bulbs require an order a bag of 50, like this bag. And there's a leave time of a couple of months. As Ryan doesn't carry stock, that's how he probably keeps his prices low. He gathers the order ahead of time, then places the order roughly every month with his manufacturer, presumably in China. But with a discount of more than 40% when compared to most other distributors, do these work? Are they going to stop ghosting in this machine? So let me show you what the anti-ghosting warm white LEDs from Elite Pinball look like installed in my Dracula inserts. And let's see if the ghosting is eliminated. And I'm gonna put these in and have a look if there's a difference. So let's see uh, if that ghosting disappears and they genuinely are non-ghosting. 
So you can see with the uh, non-ghosting LEDs in, that problem's completely eliminated. So the extra 10 or 20 cents in the LED. From Elite Pinball gets the thumbs up. Thanks very much. Until next time.